Hey there, everyone, and welcome back to Utility Sports. Today, we're going to be talking about the Minnesota Timberwolves and some rumors surrounding the team, if they will get relocated or not to Seattle. Of course, that is the big lead market here in a situation that we could perhaps see the Minnesota Timberwolves get moved. Seattle would probably be the lead candidate. I know a lot of fans have been interested in seeing Seattle for quite some time get an NBA team once again. So we'll be talking about that in today's video. Before we jump into it though, I'm gonna urge you guys hit that like button on today's video to help us a lot here. Let us know that you do like the content we've been posting, post a lot of NBA content. We got the NBA playoffs going on right now. Crazy times in the NBA uh, and also subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the content. We do mock drafts once a week for the NBA here moving up through the rest of the playoffs going into the off season. Uh, as well as doing a lot of other stuff on the channel. We've got some NFL content we post out pretty often as well. Of course, a little bit slower time right now with the off season, but still posting quite a bit of NFL, MLB stuff, some NHL stuff even, uh, a lot of college sports as well. And exciting news, we do have a new jersey giveaway coming out very, very soon. Not going to announce who the player is yet and what jersey it is, but I think you guys are going to like it. Pretty popular player, I feel. So let's jump into it now with the rumors surrounding Seattle and the Minnesota Timberwolves. Here, Darren Wolfson, who's verified on Twitter, says, Shooter bringing heat this morning, including continuing the idea that Alex Rodriguez wants to move the Timberwolves to Seattle. For the record, I still think the path to Seattle getting a team is expansion. I'm more fascinated to see how the A-Rod Lore partnership plays out financially. Of course, Mark Lore, a billionaire himself. A-Rod also right in that realm. With the money he has, they are buying the Minnesota Timberwolves for $1.5 billion combined. So it's not like they have this big time cash flow uh, right now. They're putting a lot of money out on the table, uh, a, a vast majority actually. So they might get some other people involved, some minority investors. We'll, ex we'll see exactly how they end up playing out the rest of this partnership together. Of course, Darren Wilson did mention that himself. But the main topic here in this tweet is Alex Rodriguez wanting to move Minnesota to Seattle. So what? is A-Rod's connection to Seattle. He spent seven seasons playing there for the Seattle Mariners uh, very early in his career. So he has a very good connection to the city, a very good uh, amount of time spent there as well. He knows Seattle. He probably likes Seattle. I mean, Seattle's a nice city. Also, it is currently an open market in terms of the NBA. They haven't had the Supersonics for over a decade now at this point. You're looking at a team and a, and a market that would make some sense pairing together the Minnesota Timberwolves just haven't been a winning product here in Minnesota. They lack some real fan support because of the winning. Now, I'm not questioning Minnesota Timberwolves fans' hearts. I know you guys have dealt with a lot of different things. Kevin Love asking out, trading Kevin Garnett in 2007 to the Boston Celtics, a whole bunch of other things that has gone wrong with this franchise. Timberwolves fans, it's lucky that the Timberwolves even sell as many tickets as they do with how poor of a product they put on the floor. Minnesota fans are very loyal, but at the end of the day, the winning has hurt their uh, financial picture. They haven't been selling as many tickets as they would have liked. Of course, winning would have helped in those areas. And of course, also A-Rod has a financial backing from his business partner, Mark Lord. This is something he couldn't afford to do on his own. So he's going to need a little bit of assistance getting some over some of the steps, which we'll be talking about a little later on in this video. There's a lot to uncover and break down. So make sure you guys are staying tuned as we go throughout this video. And I have Kevin Garnett's name written here, and you guys might be wondering why. There's a rumor that he could be one of the people that gets involved as a minority investor. Uh, he's worth hundreds of million dollars himself. He could be a part of the ownership group at some point. And Kevin Garnett's very vocal about wanting to keep a team in Minnesota. If Kevin Garnett did become a part of the ownership group, he's going to probably try hard to veto any move to Seattle, any move out of Minnesota. He really loves the state of Minnesota. He's done a lot of great things for that community there. So he will not want that team moved. That'll be an interesting thing to watch develop as it plays out. If KG does become a member of ownership for the Minnesota Timberwolves, that could put a little bit of a halt in Alex Rodriguez's plans. Of course, before any sale, any uh, partial sale to Kevin Garnett to become minority in, uh, a minority owner, they'll have these conversations. They'll talk about the future of the organization. Uh, and of course, the, the crazy thing, Glenn Taylor did not include an actual provision in the contract of $1.5 billion that requires the team to be kept in Minnesota for X amount of years. So A-Rod in 2023, when he does officially become the owner, good luck to move it on day one of his ownership. So what are some of those obstacles to him moving the actual franchise? 
First of all, he doesn't gain control of the Minnesota Timberwolves till 2023 at the earliest. There's a few different things that could play out between now and 2023 at the earliest. So we have to talk about those a little bit later on, why those are actual obstacles for Alex Rodriguez. And of course, a lot can change in that time too. Maybe Minnesota starts winning. Maybe you're looking at Minnesota as, hey, this isn't bad. Maybe we're a middle of the road market when we're winning games. That's good enough to stay there, but in Minnesota. Also, another obstacle. You have the Target Center lease, which runs through 2035, and there's a $50 million buyout for ownership if they decide they want to leave the Target Center prior to the end of that lease. And of course, I mentioned earlier, Lore and A-Rod, sure, they're both extremely rich, but with how much money they're putting up out front to own this franchise, $50 million is a lot of money to sh uh, shell out as well to just get your team out of a city. That is a big time price ticket. Uh, and I'm not sure if they're going to be willing to pay that immediately uh, right after taking control of the team because they won't have a lot of revenue coming in between them. Also, there's the Climate Pledge Arena Agreement that they would have to come into agreement with. Of course, that is the stadium out there in Seattle. Big, big things about that. The Seattle Kraken are going to be playing there. You have to come to an agreement with that arena as well. I uh, probably have to work some financials there. There's a lot of financial obstacles here for A-Rod and Mark Lord when it comes to the Minnesota Timberwolves relocating them specifically to Seattle. The Target Center lease, I think, is the biggest one and also the gaining control at 2023. I think that's another big one. And the reason why is because you have to look at Seattle expansion. I think that's definitely a possibility. You have to ask yourself, will the NBA expand or at least create plans to expand to Seattle before A-Rod and Mark Lohr gain team control by 2023? And I think the answer could be yes there. Adam Silver, a very de decisive owner, someone who, when he makes a decision, he sticks with it and he acts swiftly. He's very, very set in his mind when he does something. So if the NBA does open up expansion or does open up the opportunity for another team to relocate, they could beat Alex Rodriguez to Seattle if they are really bent on doing so. Because you have to look at the NBA doing so well financially right now. TV deal has been doing great for them. They generate about $8 billion a year uh, on average. So you're looking at this being a very profitable move possibly by the NBA to expand. They have enough money for revenue sharing and everything that they have set up in the CBA to allow another team to come in to the NBA. Possibly could see a 31st team in the NBA. It'd be the first time since 2003 that we've had an odd number of teams again. And I think it is a, a real possibility at this point that perhaps Adam Silver is going to make a decision. He wants to expand uh, and add more NBA teams into the league. He hasn't done so yet during his time as commissioner, but this was something that was very common during David Stern's era. And he gets a lot of praise for really growing the NBA. I think Adam Silver is going to want a similar kind of legacy of building up the NBA, adding franchises into cities and areas that could use a franchise. And Seattle definitely fits the conversation with that. So with Alex Rodriguez not getting team control until 2023, it's possible the NBA beats him to Seattle by adding their own team or making plans to add their own team there ahead of time. So are we looking at the return of the Seattle Supersonics? Through relocation from the Minnesota Timberwolves or expansion, I think yes. I really, really do think that we will see the Seattle Supersonics at once again in the NBA. Uh, I think that, you know, there's just a little bit too much of that, that feel about it. You know, you can just kind of have a feeling that they're going to return to the NBA at some point. So I think that is a yes, that we at some point will see the return of the Seattle Supersonics. However, my question is, will we have a retro feel with the throwback type jerseys, the ones that Kevin Durant, Gary Payton wore, uh, and so on? Will we see that for Seattle? Or will we get a brand new modern look with the Seattle Sonics logo here I found on the internet? Uh, definitely a few different options that they could go with. Or will they even be the Seattle Supersonics at all? Could they be Seattle something else? You know, we are looking at the Seattle Sounders already playing there, the Seattle Kraken, the new NHL team, uh, Seattle Seahawks, of course, as well. They've got three teams there already. If a fourth team came in, what would their team name be? Let me know in the comments below what you think a good team name would be. And if you would prefer going back to the retro feel with throwback type jerseys or a completely new modern look for Seattle, I would love to know what your guys' thoughts are in the comment section, which ones you would prefer for Seattle. That will conclude today's video. Hopefully you guys did really enjoy. It was a lot of fun throwing this together for you guys, taking a look at Alex Rodriguez and Mark Lore, the possible pathway for Seattle basketball to return, whether it's through the Minnesota Timberwolves or through NBA expansion. I think that both are real possibilities. 
at this point. We'll see exa exactly how everything plays out. Make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss out on more content here at Utility Sports. Thanks again, guys, so much for watching, and we'll catch you in the very next video.